All right, welcome back, YouTube. Now, I am, this is, I guess you would call it part two of rebuilding the brake caliper on my 2003 Chevrolet Corvette. Okay. Now, this part here, first thing you do, is put in this little o-ring there's a groove inside there you may remember in part one I removed that groove with the, this little pick thing here so anyway you want to put this new this is your new seal put this in here that in there all the way in that's what you want next thing you do take your piston this piston is nice and clean <clears throat> you want to put some brake fluid on it so, you want this thing to slide right in don't want to get it hung up on that seal or anything. So I just dip it in brake fluid. And once again, remember, brake fluid will destroy paint. Alright, get it started. I'm going to grab the C-clamp. get that piston started you just get your seat clamp and just start cranking it right on in there got it oiled up really well it'll go right in I get it right about there and I'm gonna put the seal on the new the new dust cover down there that will lock in down there at the bottom Has a, there's a cur there's a little groove in the top of that piston. I'll put the C clamp back on and finish cranking it in. taking that piston all the way down your new brake pads are going to be kind of thick so you want to get that piston all the way down in there there it is it's bottomed out Seal is 
pushed all the way down it's going to be down in that groove so there's nothing really to worry about there and it's it's down there so i guarantee it's been pushed in that groove so i'm happy with that now all we got to do is uh where is that little rascal yeah here's just a little cover of some sort here to keep dust out of the bleeder valve you got to put that in and that goes in this hole right here ten millimeter yeah an American made vehicle right I know anyway okay and there you are and that is ready to go back on the vehicle and actually I didn't need to tighten that up because I showed you earlier how I like to do the bleeding on the brakes so <laughs> I'm gonna leave that looser right now so yep I just make it finger tight and it's ready to be put on the vehicle and then breed, bleed the brakes and there you are a rebuilt brake caliper for a 2003 Chevrolet Corvette Hope you enjoyed this video and if it helps you. Uh, in my opinion, you know, there's really not a whole lot to a brake caliper. You got the dust seal and then that you got that little flat o-ring that seals the uh, piston to the bore and that's it. So in my opinion there is no need to spend between sixty and a hundred dollars for a new or rebuilt brake caliper when you can buy the parts and do it yourself. And it's really not that bad to do so I mean if if you're if you've got to the point where you can do a brake job you can do this part believe me so I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did please subscribe bye